Hey guys, Breg here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer gold from one server to another. Now, a lot of you will already know a lot of these methods, but hopefully there's one or two things here that maybe you hadn't thought of, and it's quite useful to know, especially if you're moving server, or just happen to have gold on one server and want to get it back to your main server, something like that. Also, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the sort of major ways to transfer quite a lot of gold, not to transfer the tiniest bit of gold. For example, if you want to get started selling on a new server and you just need a bit of gold to pay the auction deposit, there are certain ways you can do that, such as making a trial and sending over the gold that the trial gets. I think it's 10 gold. You can just send that over to your main. You can also buy bind on account items, such as the guild tabard and you can send those over and then vendor them at least you used to be able to do that i'm not actually certain if you still can anyway let's get started and the first one a lot of you will already know that is battle pets this is very simple all you have to do is purchase a pet on the server you have the gold you then learn it and then you log on to the server where you want the gold you cage the pet and you sell it very simple the annoying thing about this is pets can often take a very long time to sell. On the other hand, a good thing about this is you can actually make gold with this method. You find a pet that's actually a lot cheaper on one server, buy it and then you sell it on another server. And there are a lot of ways to do this and I've covered this in multiple uh, pet arbitrage videos. You can go look them up if you like. So it is quite a simple way but it does take a long time and it's not the best way to transfer a lot of gold really. I mean, some pets do sell quicker than others, such as the TCG pets. If you advertise in trade chat with the TCG pets, they often sell a bit quicker than the others because people like them, they're rare. Uh, so if you do have a lot of gold and you can buy up a load of TCG pets and then you can sell them, bark in trade, you'll probably be able to sell them eventually. But this method is really for someone who has time, doesn't need the gold immediately and maybe wants to make a bit of extra gold in the process. Next up involves trading gold. So you say, want to trade gold here for gold on another server, and you hope that someone has gold on that other server that wants to change it around. I have actually done this before with some success. I wanted to move gold to Sylvanus, which is my main server now, and I had quite a lot of gold on Kazakh. And Kazakh's quite a popular server, and I did find some people who wanted gold on Kazakh, had gold on Sylvanus, and we did a swap and it worked really well. And you would be very surprised at the amount of people that have gold on multiple servers, especially if you're doing boosting. Back when I did a lot of Mythic Plus boosting, I used to get sort of 300k each run on a random server. And I'd get it on that random server and I did a lot of methods to transfer the gold. The other methods we'll talk about later. But one of the methods was advertising trade chat for someone who potentially wanted to swap gold. You can also go onto the forums and there are often people offering to do this. Now the problem is you can quite easily get scammed and you do have to be very very careful. For example I have a load of gold on Doomhammer which I do and I want to move that gold to my main server Sylvanus. So I advertise on Doomhammer as well as Sylvanus and I try and find someone who mains on Doomhammer but still has some gold on Sylvanus and wants to swap with me. So what I do is I give them 200,000 gold on Doomhammer, I log on to Sylvanus to meet their character who's going to give me the 200,000 and they've logged off and I don't see them again and Blizzard won't refund you and you're pretty screwed. So a couple of suggestions, the first of which is quite simply you want to always go first so you want to be the one receiving the gold first and then you'll log over and trade with the other person that way you can ensure that you're not going to get scammed and it's all good another thing you can do is also trade the gold uh, a bit more slowly so say you've got 100k you'll trade 20k at one time they'll log over give you 20k and you keep doing that it takes a bit longer but hey at least it works and you're less likely to lose a lot of gold. Lastly is the use of a middleman. So this is something which they used to advertise on the forums quite a lot. So someone can build up a reputation of being a sort of middleman to facilitate these trades. So they will take the gold from both people and then they'll trade the gold from both people just to make sure everything's in order. 
For example, I will give the gold to Mr. Doom, the middleman on Doomhammer. Mr. Doom makes a carriage on Sylvanus, and the Sylvanus guy then gives the gold to Mr. Doom. Once Mr. Doom has the gold from both of us, we he will then swap it over, and everything is fine and dandy. This ensures nobody is going to run off with the gold when they get traded first, and everything's good. Obviously, the issue is the middleman, and you've got to find a very trusted middleman. Again, on the servers, at least in the past, there have been a few middlemen offering these services, and they like to take sort of a 5% cut sometimes. But to be honest, 5% is a really good cut to lose if you want to transfer gold between servers, and it's a pretty decent way of doing things. So yeah, this is an excellent method in terms of being very, very quick, in terms of getting pretty much all the gold that you ask for on one server to the other. The only issues, of course, are the risks involved, even with a middleman, so please be careful, guys, and yeah, only do this if you're feeling confident and if you're very careful. The next one is probably the easiest and safest, but it does lose you quite a lot of gold, and that is simply buying Battle.net Balance with your gold on one server, and then using that Battle.net Balance to buy WoW tokens on the server that you want the gold. For example, I'm back on Doomhammer, I buy a WoW token with my gold, that then converts to Battle.net Balance, I then use the Battle.net Balance on Sylvanus to buy a WoW token, and I've then got that gold on Sylvanus. Sounds simple, but it's actually a bit more complicated than that, it does involve a bit of maths and it also changes depending on the currency. I'm using pounds, not a lot of you will be using pounds but it's slightly similar and I'll just explain to you what happens with the pounds. When you do buy a WoW token and want to transfer it to a Battle.net balance, it goes to £10 of Battle.net balance. So every time you spend 300k you'll get £10 of Battle.net balance but the WoW token is £17. What this in general works out to is you have to buy about five WoW tokens to be able to get three on the server you want the gold because five times 10 is 50 and 17 times three is 51, pretty much the same. So that would equal 1.5 million to get 900,000 on the server that you want it. What well, that basically means is you lose around 40% of the gold. With some currencies, it's more like 30%. With pounds, it's really bad. It's 40%. It's very annoying. The other problem with this is you need a pretty good amount of gold to be able to do it. For example, say if I had 500k on Doomhammer that I wanted to move over to Savannah, that would still only buy me one token. And that would give me £10 of battle net balance. So I'd lose 300k and I'd get nothing because I couldn't buy the battle net I couldn't buy the wild token with the battle net balance that I had so it would be an issue the only way to get around that of course I'd have to buy at least two wild tokens so that would cost me 600k just to be able to get one wild token on Sylvanus because 600k would equal 20 pounds the token 17 pounds again I'd lose half my gold then so the only way you can even get to the 40% loss, which is still a big loss, is to spend a lot more gold. Like I say, I'd need about 1.5 million to be able to get to the 50 pounds or the three WoW tokens. So if I had 1.5 million, then doing this, I'd lose 40%. If I had a different number, I'd probably lose even more. Like I say, for other currencies, it's pretty good, a bit better, but still, guys, this is gonna lose you a lot of gold and it really isn't the best method, especially if you're in the UK. And yeah, sorry if that bit was a bit complicated, but it is a bit complicated, to be honest. A lot of people think it's really easy. Uh, when I was boosting, a lot of people thought it was really easy. Like, hey, you just got the token on another server. Why don't you just turn it into Battle.net Balance and transfer it here? People don't realize it's not that simple, and you actually lose a lot of gold doing that. So it's great if you have a ton of gold, and it's great if you just want the gold on your new server really quickly and really easily, but of course you are going to lose a pretty hefty chunk of that gold. The fourth method is probably even worse, and that is just the straight character transfer. Obviously you don't really have to explain this, you just move the character that has gold to a, another server where you'll just get the gold. The only problem with this, obviously it costs £19 or 
costs around two tokens, so that's 600k it would cost me just to move. So this really isn't worth it unless you have a lot of gold. However, if you do have a lot of gold, then you can't move it because the maximum amount of gold you can transfer a character with is 250k. So I'd have to spend 600k in tokens just to get 250k on my other server. Obviously that doesn't make any sense at all and that's a load of rubbish unless you're really rich in real life and then you don't mind spending the money but then again then you just buy tokens anyway it would really just be pointless so the one way this can work is if you buy a load and load of items on the one character for example I'm on Doomhammer I've got 5 million gold on Doomhammer and I want to move it to Sylvanas well I'll spend 600k on the transfer that leaves me 4.4 million what I then do is I buy up a load of items in Doomhammer that can easily be converted to gold here. That includes mounts, that includes herbs, that includes loads and loads of stuff. So I've spent 600k on the transfer, I've spent the other 4.2 million on items and then I've got 200,000 left which I can just keep in my bags. The good thing about this, if you have a lot of gold, is that the 600k actually isn't that much if you've got 5 million and particularly when you're buying items you can buy items that are more expensive on the server you want the gold and you'll end up probably making the 600k back and more so in the end it's probably gonna make you more gold than it will lose you and that means it's a pretty good way of doing things the only two issues if you don't have a load of gold to transfer it's really not worth it and of course just because you buy items on one server it may take them a while to sell on the new server so you're not going to get the gold instantly but you can buy items like some popular mounts like Vile of the Sands um, like the Sky Golem and like some popular materials that might be quite expensive or some expensive bars those things can sell pretty quickly probably net your profit and yeah there you go okay so the very last method involves the guild bank transfer so this one is about 50% more expensive than the character transfer for example in the UK the guild bank transfer costs 30 pounds so that's three WoW tokens so that's 900k obviously again this is only worth it if you do have a lot of gold to transfer but if you do have a lot of gold it's probably the best way to do things why is this well with a guild bank transfer you can transfer any amount of gold that you like. So say I have gold cap on Doomhammer, I've got 10 million gold on Doomhammer. What I can do is just put all of that gold into my guild bank, my personal guild bank. I can then do a guild bank transfer costing around 900k, obviously a lot less if you're on the US. And then you can get all of that gold straight away on your main server. And okay, I've lost 10% of my gold but that really isn't that much considering you've just moved it all instantly and easily, safely, and you've got it all straight away on your new server. So a few things before you initiate the guild bank transfer, you do have to have an authenticator on your account for at least a week. Most people now have that for the extra bag space, but some people don't. For example, I've got my authenticator on my US account because I, I did do this on the US and it means I've got to like take it off and put it on my EU account, it's a bit annoying. The other thing is that you do have to be the guild master for at least a week as well. So you can't just literally make yourself a guild to get the guild bank to transfer your gold over. You'll have to have that for at least one week. However, once you've got that, you either pay the £30 or whatever it is in euros and you get the guild and you transfer it over, get the gold instantly, it's all good stuff. Now if you guys watched my gold cap challenge series, I actually did a couple of guild bank transfers to make a ton of gold. I made millions and millions of gold. This was on the US, so it was easier. The reason it's easier is because at least back then, the US token was half the price of the EU. And I think the EU token was probably like 200K or something. And the US token was like 100K. So literally spending 300K I could do a guild bank transfer 
and yeah. Nowadays, because I'm on the EU, and because tokens have gone up, it's going to cost me around 900k, and it's going to cost you US guys probably like 600k or something. So it's probably not worth it unless you're super rich in real life, you just pay with real money, or unless you have a ton of gold to transfer, like nearly gold cap or at least 5 mil, and it's going to be a good time. This is also a really good way to make gold, as I was saying. Just like with the last method, you can buy up a load of items on one server, store them in the guild bank, and then when you've transferred over, you can sell those items. For example, Minion of Grumpus might be 129k on my server, and the server I want to go to, it could be 300k, and I make like 200k per Minion of Grumpus. And trust me guys, there are some serious discrepancies in prices, and the prices can change dramatically from server to server. Like I say, when I did it on my Gold Cap Challenge series, I made millions and millions of gold just buying up everything, putting it in the various guild tabs, and then selling them. I think Starlight Rose, I sold thousands, like millions of Starlight Rose basically, and yeah, worked a treat. Well, definitely not a million, but you know what I mean. Anyway, that is probably about it for this video. I hope it wasn't too long and annoying. It's just a bit hard to explain some of the things, especially with the prices. But I hope maybe you learned something new. If not, let me know. Tell me I'm useless. But thanks very much for watching, guys. And until next time, see ya.